Hi y'all! Welcome to this week's update. Uh, this week is, uh, was this the ninth update? I just got back from visiting my god kids, which was great. Um, this week has also seen DH get on a plane and land safely in Qatar, so he is there safe. Um, everything I packed with him worked and we got him out uh, on time. Uh, we got him there safe and, you know, owned it, ended up paying the extra fee for the luggage. So he ended up not wanting to take um, his little rolly case um, on the plane with him. He just wanted to deal with his book bag because his flight was crazy. He had a layover in Dulles and then he had a layover in Frankfurt and he had a layover or like a sort of layover in Kuwait. Like they stopped the plane and let people off, but not him. Um, before flying on to Qatar. I think his flight was something like 20 hours. Um, so, understandably, he didn't want to deal with it. I think that ended up costing us like $200 um, to check that bag. It was also, it would have been overweight anyways. It was um, a pound overweight. So, I got it to 16 pounds because we ended up purchasing him a couple things. He got the opportunity to hang out with the god kids um for a couple days well like a day um and we got the opportunity to pick him up you know a couple of last minute things i don't even remember what we got him and anyway, we got him a buff um to hopefully try and alleviate some of the sun issue i know it's gonna be you know really sunny over there all the time and i, I, lo I love him so much he's he's so attractive um but he, he doesn't really have a face for a lot of hats. Um, we haven't found the right one yet. He looks great in baseball caps, um, but not, not so much the, the boonie caps. And I can't help but giggle. So either I'm going to have to stop shopping with him for hats, or, and he's just going to have to pick something, or we'll just keep looking until we find something. Um, my hair is still vaguely purple. Um, I dyed it at the request of goddaughter. She wanted pink, but I didn't have pink, so I used the very last of my purple manic panic to have a have purple hair this week, just for her. Um, you know, seeing my munchkins was great. I always love seeing them, and they're old enough now to kind of understand uh, what's going on. Um, they're no stranger to people picking up and moving halfway across the planet for a little while. So they weren't, you know, they were concerned, but not too, too concerned, which is great. Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot more uh, FaceTime out of this bargain. So home now, I drove back, uh, which was great. It was a long car trip. Um, you know, haven't really driven in a couple years since I live in New York and I don't have a car and I don't need to drive. Um, but I did fine. Um, what else? Uh, I picked the pup up. He's actually snoozing beside me. You're not going to wake up, my love. No. He's not going to wake up. So, pick the pup up. Um, I still don't know about his health issue. His cough is better. Um, I'm really hoping it was just like pneumonia and not also cancer, but um, I don't know yet. We're going in today actually to get his white blood cell um, count retested because it was really high last time. Um, so we're going to go get that tested. The doc's going to listen to his chest again to see like, you know, what's going on with his snot. Uh, last time it was really crackly sounding in there and he had um, a lot of swelling. So this time we're gonna see if it if he's still crackly and if the swelling's still there. Um, so we know how to proceed. I have not yet booked my flight. I am still waiting on final word from DH um, who is there. He has landed, he is safe, he's checking out the apartment. It is bananas. It's huge. Uh, they they apologized uh, when when uh, Chris's boss apologized when he was you know showing in the apartment. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's really small. I don't know if this is gonna be too small for you and your wife and your pup. You know, 
just, you know, I hope it's okay. And Chris is like, this is like double what we have. This is huge. I don't know what to do with all this space. There's so much furniture in this place. It's crazy. Uh, for those of you that are friends with him, IRL on Facebook, he posted a video, um, I think from the porch of the apartment, which was super cool looking. I don't think I can insert it into this video. It's like one of those 360 dealies. Um, but I will post it on the blog uh, for those of you that follow me there as well. Um, for those of you that follow me there as well, I also promise that there's a blog post coming about the move. I just, I have to write it. Nope. So I thought that call might be important. Uh, that was not. That was someone trying to call to handle my credit card processing needs. Jerk face. Um, no, no idea where it was on the update. I really need to start hitting airplane mode, but I didn't want to in case DH calls. Um, we've been using WhatsApp, actually, to talk to each other. Um, we're hoping that that works out with prices. I don't know. He's having issues getting the Wi-Fi set up. Um, he's the only one that's had that issue that he knows of in the building. The other guys did not have that problem. So, great. Lucky him. Um, he had it for like uh, a few hours, like you know, over an afternoon he got Wi-Fi. So, of course, he ran right out and got a PlayStation um, because we found out uh, that Xbox Live does not work in Qatar. Uh, and Microsoft is one of those companies that's uh, super litigious um, and all about cracking down on their stuff. So they don't offer live in the country. You People were spoofing it to try to you know, still have their accounts. Um, but then they were like handing out lifetime bans like candy for that. So he's had to abandon his account and his account um, predates me. Like, he's had that account since Xbox Live was created. Uh, I'm real... I mean, he didn't seem to be, like, super, super depressed about it because, you know, other things to worry about. But I'm real pissed for him. Like, that's ridiculous. He's put a lot of time and a lot of money in this account and, like, tons of man hours just on this stupid Call of Duty game that he plays, I hate, but he loves, um, so he, <sighs> I'm real upset for him, I'm gonna just try to like calm down, get off my that's not fair soapbox, it's not my, not my, my not my deal to be upset about, but I'm, I'm, I'm not thrilled, um, so he got a, PlayStation, I think he got his game again so he can start, you know, rebuilding his characters and all of his stats and stuff. And um, he went to dinner, and then when he came back, he had no internet again. So he's been having issues. We've been kind of trying to FaceTime as much as possible, um, you know, at least chat once a day. Um, kind of the goal is to FaceTime once a day, I think. That for at least, you know, 10 minutes just to catch up with each other. Um, his, his bedtime is 3 o'clock here, um, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So that's kind of the, you know, if all else fails, we'll speak then. We have not yet spoken today. I think today's a work day. I mean, I it is Monday. Tuesday, I don't know. It's plus seven hours. No, so it's still Monday for him. So, yes, it's his Monday. So, that's definitely... Actually, I don't know if that's his Monday. I can't remember what day he has off yet. Um, he's still kind of figuring things out. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be sending him coffee and stuff. <laughs> he's having problems. Like He can find all the instant coffee he wants, but he can't find regular coffee so far. Uh, he's told around the grocery store 
um, kind of the closest grocery store to where we're living, and that's all they had. So he's trying to figure that out. I have uh, USPS is sending me 10 large flat rate boxes, uh, so we're going to see like what I can pack in there and what I can send him. I'm planning on sending him coffee. Uh, there's a couple of cables he left here um, that I need to send him for his headphones. I'm planning, or I'm like hoping to be able to send him our board games uh, because those boxes are pretty big and would take up a lot of room in my suitcase. Uh, I'm going to dry fit my clothing um, just to see what I've got uh, so I know what all I need to purchase still and you know know what I'm dealing with room wise I've got like a whole list of stuff I need to do and then a smaller list of stuff I need to buy um, yeah soon I guess right now I need to take the pup for his appointment today I need to finalize planning my next the next leg of my grand U.S. tour. I'm going to Ohio to go see my dad, and my stepmom, and my siblings, because all four of us will be there, which will be amazing, hopefully. I'm gonna see my aunt and my uncle as well, probably my great uncle, yeah, we'll see um, who all I get to see. I'm staying um, for like a week. So I gotta figure that all out, figure out, I mean, I've got my flight booked. I need to figure out, um, I'm gonna try to get an Airbnb uh, so the siblings and I, or at least the out of town siblings and I can stay in the same place, uh, which will make logistics a lot easier and, you know, give us time to like hang out and sibling bond, which would be awesome. Uh, ba -ba, what else do I have to do? I think that's the big stuff for now. Um, still need to pack up the bins that I'm taking. I dropped off my desktop computer and my blender with my bestie. Um, super excited that it's going somewhere so good um, and will be used a lot. Um, what else? I think that's really it for this week. Um, yeah. Ohio trip is next at the beginning of the month. Um, well, actually next, I need to plan a couple of dinners with friends before I leave for that. Um, leave for that and then figure out when I'm going on my, the next leg. Um, North Carolina, I'll be going for like another week. I just don't know when. I need to figure out what's going on with Lil Butt over there. Uh, before I plan that and then like, you know, book a flight, that might be a good plan. I have a rough date, but yeah. So yeah, that's week or uh, I don't even know what week we're in. Update nine, at least. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you would like to be up to date on our latest uh, shenanigans. Um, check the blog, uh, yeah, all the rest of the social stuff is in the card next and in the description box below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!